Welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are solving another numerical on steady state thermal analysis. I will first double click on steady state thermal. Now here we are solving for a plane wall. So I will just rename the file as plane wall. Next I will go to geometry and double click on it. Now let's go to the problem. The inner surface of a plain brick wall is at 60 degrees Celsius and the outer surface is at 35 degrees Celsius. Calculate the rate of heat transfer per meter square of surface area of the wall which is 220 mm thick. The thermal conductivity of the brick is 0.51 watt per meter degree Celsius. So I will go to design modeler. I'll go to units, I'll choose it as millimeter, xy, look at. Now, we know that this numerical that we are solving, had we been solving it using the numerical method, theoretical one, then we would have used Fourier's law of heat conduction. There is one particular assumption of Fourier's law that the cross-section area is not important. But the thickness over which you are measuring your heat transfer from one end of the wall to the other is going to be important. And that thickness is already given as 220 mm. So rest of the cross section is immaterial. So I'll go to rectangle. I'll draw a rectangle. I'll give it some dimensions. These dimensions are random. You can choose any value. I'm taking 100 by 100. Next, I'll go to extrude. So I'll go to create, extrude. I'll select the sketch that I've just made, sketch one, apply. Now here, this depth that I'm giving is very important. It is 220 and I'll choose generate. So this is the geometry made. Now this is important because here you can see the direction in which my arrow is moving in this direction i will have to check the rate of heat transfer which is taking place and on these two walls i'm going to apply the temperature so this is done next i'll go to model and double click on it Now I'll go to mesh, I'll select the sizing as fine and update. Next I'll go to steady state thermal. I'm going to insert temperature. I will choose this option face. I will select here, apply and one end was 60 as given and the other end is 35. Next I will choose this side, right click, insert, temperature and this value is 35. Apart from temperature, no other data is given but here it is given that the material of the wall is brick. So I will have to apply a new material because if you select this geometry or solid over here, you can see the assignment of material is by default structural steel. I need to change it. So I'll click here, new material. Okay. This is taking me to engineering data. I'm going to add a new material here. Let me rename it as brick. I need to give it some property. So I'll go to thermal isotropic thermal conductivity. The value is given in the question as 0.51 watt per meter degree Celsius. You can check the unit here. So this is done. Next, I'll go to project. In the model, I'll right click update. So the material now gets added in my model. Or you can also update project over here. Either way you can do it. Next, I'll go to model. 
and when I see the solid now, if I click on this button, I can see brick and this brick has now been applied to this wall. Next, I'll go to solution, right click, insert thermal temperature and the question asks for calculating total heat flux. So, I'm going to click on it. Next, I'll go to solution, solve. Now we'll click on temperature. So I can see a temperature variation on this wall. Also we can check the total heat flux. The value that we obtain over here is 57.955. That is a constant value over this entire body. We will go to this question and here you can see this is a solution which I have obtained by using numerical calculation. So I have just marked the value here for your reference. And the value that I obtained by theory and by answer solution is exactly the same. It is 57.95. So this proves that the answer which I have got through answers is correct. If you want, you can solve this question by using a very simple formula. That is Fourier's law. That is Q is equal to minus Ka dt by dx. So this is the formula for calculating Q. Now we always take a negative sign because that shows the temperature which is final that is over here on the other end is 35 lesser than the initial value 60. You can just subtract over here as 60 minus 35 and not take the negative sign or if you take the negative sign then just see to it that you are taking it as 35 minus 60 and dx is the length that is the thickness 220. It changes from 0 to 220. K value is also given. And area since it is not given, it is per meter square. So you can take it as 1. When you use this formula, you will get this answer. That's how I have solved it. And I have also proved the answer by using answers. So this is how you solve it by theory and compare it by using a software. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the procedure for solving this kind of a question. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.